Really wanting to make a video, just seeing how potentially light I could make my backpack. What if I went to the extreme? I'm talking no conveniences, no luxuries at all. And I'm going to take it one step further, I'm going to use this setup this weekend on the trail. It might be uncomfortable, it might just be absolutely terrible, but it's, it's going to be a unique experience. Minimalist camping experience. All right. Here we go. Stupid, stupid ultralight, just like I promised. So if you are just now joining me, the last video I posted was a gear loadout for this trip entitled Stupid Ultralight. Uh, I got this base weight down to like five pound, four ounces, and I'm gonna take it out on a trip, and this is that trip. So I did make a few little modifications. I, I do have food and water to put in this, so we're gonna weigh it up, see what, uh, see what we get so a couple of things that were variables I, I did bring a knife I did bring a Sawyer filter um, also brought uh, two little bottles of water five pounds 15 ounces so just shy six pounds other than the knife and the filter I don't know what else I put in this a little uh, camera clip here for my DSLR but that's pretty much it I'm gonna throw the food in and weigh it up also. Food and water, which I have two 16 ounce bottles in this. We are at 10 pounds, 11 ounces. So that's pretty much lighter than my base weight for a normal trip. Debated the whole ride here. If I wanted to wear the minimalist sandals, it just makes sense. But I, I, I cannot risk having poison ivy all over my feet. Maybe I'll do it in a different season, but not on this trip. All right, well, I'm gonna get the camera gear in the bag, bag on my back, and I'm gonna get rolling, and once I get moving here, I'm gonna tell you what my plan is for this trip. Whew. 90 degrees. Holy shit, it's hot out. It feels great. <laughs> Super light. Okay. Feels pretty good in the shade. It's definitely 90 degrees out right now. Uh, it's 3.30. My Mohican, uh, the parking lot I parked at is the parking area above campsite eight, if you're looking at the map. So my idea for a route on this trip is I'm going, I guess it'd be east. I'm gonna pass by campsites eight, nine, and 10 on the ridge up here. Then I'm gonna drop down into the gorge. I'm gonna cross the Mohican River. Then I'm gonna uh, come up the other side of the gorge, go past the gorge overlook. There's some beautiful mountain bike trails uh, kind of behind the fire tower area there that I've never actually done like on a backpacking trip. I'm excited to do those. I ran through that area last year and uh, it was really cool. Then I'm gonna make my way to campsite seven which is a park and pack site that I've actually never stayed at here. And then I'll just finish out my loop on the northern mountain bike mountain bike trails tomorrow morning, and we'll be good. I really don't know the mileage. I, I have a hunch that it's going to be at least six today. At most, maybe 11 is a guess. <laughs> We'll see. I am tracking it for once. I got the Garmin on. Uh, so yeah, just gonna try to make good time today and I'll keep you posted. Mile and a half in, I'm already on the descent down the gorge. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't know if this trip's gonna go uh, as planned. The route I have picked, I've actually never done a section of that trail. And I've been in that area a few times and I actually don't remember where the trail comes out at. So I, I really don't know where the intersection is. And I have a map, but Mohican's maps uh, and their trail system all together, it's not the, the best marked. The map is about worthless. It's good for a reference. So yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure on a couple areas of where the junctions are gonna be. So I might have to just freestyle a little bit but I'm just already preparing myself for that, so it's not gonna bum me out or anything. Worst case scenario, gotta spend the night in the woods. Just cross the bridge, heading back on the mountain bike trail.
All right, it's 4.30. I am 3.67 miles in, so one hour going about three and a half miles an hour, and that's not bad considering I stopped uh, to film a couple times. But, I don't know, I was running down some of the hills too. The pack's so light, it's not nearly jumping around as much as it normally does. I am still going up this hill. And it's not really as steep as I remember it. It's just uh, constant switchbacks. I'm in this like pine forest here. Mohican, I think, out of all the places you can backpack in Ohio, I think Mohican is just the most beautiful by far. It's just super, super diverse, all the different trees. And um, I know the lower section with all the horse trails, it's pretty, you know, standard, like any Ohio woods feel. But this section uh, around the Mohican River here, it's really, really pretty. There's bridges through here and lots of moss and ferns and and stuff like that. It's just, it's really pretty. Road crossing. Well, I added, added about a mile or two there. I missed the turnoff for the overlook, which I knew by the map that that might happen because it's an unmarked trail that'll take you off the mountain bike trail to the overlook. I remembered that and I think I, I mean I think I know exactly where it was and I should have kind of went with my gut but that's okay so heading back into the woods on this side I am 5.8 miles in for the day it's five o'clock so an hour and a half still doing pretty good on time I'm just hoping I get there before dark I mean I got plenty of time in theory I could still get done like another 10 or 12 miles probably so It'll be all right. So I found myself in this big, kind of like a service road, but it, it's a horse trail. And I know exactly where I'm at. The first time me and my wife came here, I think it was like Memorial Day weekend, well, all the sites were taken and we just planned on stealth and we, we really weren't sure if that was illegal then or not. It definitely is, but we actually camped over here to the left, in a nice little piney area. But uh, I definitely am not on the Mohican 100 trail anymore. I really don't know where it would have went because I followed the signs. I'm looking to hook back up with a mountain bike trail here pretty soon. And if not, then probably just ride this one all the way out to the fire tower. Okay, so here's what I keep following are these Mohican 100 mile run signs. So we're definitely on the run course, uh, which means that mountain bike trail has to jet off here to the left somewhere. This is just gorgeous, man. Look at this. I love Mohican. It is the prettiest forest in Ohio, at least that I've ever been to. Like there's nowhere that I know of that you can backpack at least that looks like this. I've never been to Hawking Hills. Everybody thinks I'm crazy because of that, because it's like arguably the prettiest hiking in Ohio, but you can't backpack there. I just have a hard time driving hours and hours away to go on a day hike. Jumping out to the road here. You can see the fire tower is gonna be here real quick so I can regroup, get back on the bike trail. But I tell you, this uh, stupid ultralight setup, not feeling so stupid. Feels pretty freaking awesome. I got a really, really good comment once and it was somebody telling me, you are either comfortable at camp or you're comfortable on the trail. You can certainly be both, but in my case, super comfortable on the trail, maybe not at camp tonight. There's the tower. Man, 7.6 miles in. 549, a little over two hours moving. And uh, legs feeling good, feeling all right. Kind of wish I would have been a little bit closer than I am. Save it, save it Bryce. Well, the good news is, is I'm about a half mile from my campsite. The bad news is it just goes up and up, and I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any water there. I'm taking this road down, which would eventually take me to the covered bridge. I know 
probably within a half mile or so, there's gonna be water on my right. So I'm gonna dip down in, fill up, and then I'll head back up. You can probably tell the road's right up there. But I can hear this water trickling, it just started. I just filled up my dirty water bag, which is one liter, and I'm gonna just filter that at camp. So I'll have uh, 52 ounces. That should get me through tonight and uh, into the morning. Yeah, that, sh that should be enough, because I'm gonna be going this way. I'm gonna go right down by the river, so if I need more in the morning, I'll be able to get it very soon after I start. This might be like the most undesirable campsite at Mohican. Like you come here, campsite 10 will always be taken. This one usually open up for grabs. 10, 10 and a quarter miles for the day. That'll do. I hope it does cool down tonight. It is warm right now. Definitely not gonna freeze, that's for sure. I know the reason why you guys are here. It's to see this. <sighs> All right. The X-Frame, the Costco quilt. Uh, my backpack, which is probably gonna somehow be folded up and turned into my pillow this evening. Mm -hmm. And here's all my backpacking supplies. I did end up bringing the Mora Companion. I got a little bit of spice here for my steak, my ditty bag, my windbreaker, and this is uh, just camera gear. That's it, that is everything. All right, food. So I live kind of in Amish country and I drive right through the heart of like touristy Amish country to get here. Oh, those mosquitoes are coming out now. And uh, I, I stopped there and got a ribeye steak that <laughs> got smashed. I have uh, Snickers in here. I have the two in my pack still. I didn't eat anything out of the whole day today. So three stickers for tomorrow, ribeye for dinner. And this is funny. Uh, I saw this while I was standing in line. Noodles. Like Amish made noodles. <laughs> like this is, this is stupid. I have no pot, I have nothing to cook these in. And I knew that when I picked them up. Uh, I'll eat them cold if I have to. I gotta figure out a way to heat these up tonight. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Noodles, steak. Steak spice and three Snickers for tomorrow. Time to make a fire. It shouldn't be difficult tonight. Um, I mentioned in my video that I wanted to bring a knife because I was gonna try to process wood to make a fire, which is always something I do because I've been burned, you know, no pun intended, so many times when I was out after it's rained. But everything is super, super dry here. It hasn't rained here in days, I don't think. I brought the knife just in case. Probably not gonna have to process wood. I wanna get it going as quick as I can. Uh, get rid of some of these mosquitoes. Everything is so dry. That was the easiest fire I ever started in my life. Let's keep that real sanitizing. Let's do it. I can always move it. Start it over here for now. I don't know what to do with these. Anything I set it on will burn right through the plastic. Um, it's warm right here. What I'll do, I'll sit them on a rock. 
just sitting there. Actually pretty warm in that spot where they're at. Oh, I'm going to put my bag over my raw meat tray. And that can be my makeshift plate. Probably burn right through it. God, it smells so freaking good. Okay, the noodles are starting to melt plastic. So I'm going to call them done too. Now that is a meal. Amish country noodles and a ribeye steak. Mm. Not bad. Worth the wait. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh wait. Well, you didn't actually think I wasn't gonna bring one, did you? Minimalist backpacking allots for one can beverage. It's true. Look it up. Now it's a perfect evening. No, actually, I wasn't going to bring a beer. I really wasn't. But I caved last minute. I just want to take a minute. And thank you guys for watching the videos. Been so busy at work, I really haven't had a whole lot of time uh, to make videos lately. And thank you especially to my Patreon uh, patrons. I haven't posted anything yet on that. I actually did make a video and I found I'm not satisfied with a video unless I actually like put a lot of time into it and make good cuts and stuff and it's hard for me to post things like that but I am gonna post it and I have like two or three ideas for patreon exclusive videos I've really been wanting to do this for a long time like a minimalist backpacking trip I didn't think it was gonna be like stupid minimalist like nothing nothing I will say I'm really glad I did not choose to do that trail today in my zero shoes, my minimalist, uh, like barefoot sandals. That would have taken way longer and it would have been kind of stressful. Today went pretty much exactly how I thought it was going to go. Wasn't sure where I was a couple of times and I kind of planned on that happening. Good hike, really. 10 miles. Tomorrow. I don't know, tomorrow might be seven tops, I'm thinking. I also thought about coming out here and doing like a bike packing trip. Like this is like the perfect area to try bike packing because all these sites are on the mountain bike trails, or most of them, at least not the ones down by the horse trails. But let me know if you guys uh, would be interested in something like that. Well, that is it for dinner. All I have left are three Snickers bars. That's breakfast and out. I'll probably eat one in the morning when I wake up. And then, who knows, I might not even need one uh, during the hike out, but I'll eat one because it's there. Still have uh, about half of this, about 10 ounces, and then another liter there. If I just sip on this the rest of the night, I won't even have to stop and get water in the morning for the hike out. Tell you what, I am, I'm pretty tired. I've been working a ton of hours and I'm beat. Like, I'm ready to just go to lay down for a little bit. Maybe I'll get back out, maybe I won't, but I'm definitely gonna lay down flat. Test that sleeping pad out. <laughs> All right, let's give her, give her a try. That's not that bad. Let me scoot it down. I don't know if it'll be good all night, but right now it feels awesome. Yeah, I forgot, you definitely feel like the, you feel the gaps. Or there's just a single bar, two bars coming up, you feel that. Not too bad. I'm hot. If it doesn't cool down tonight, I might have to ditch this rain fly. Get some breeze flowing in here. To be quite honest with you guys, I'm tired. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. And I might just shut my eyes and I might not wake up until tomorrow. So this could be, this could be the end of tonight. Good night.
Good morning, everybody. It's 6 a.m. right now. I woke up in the middle of the night. Uh, I must have turned on my side and my shoulder was just digging into the ground uh, in between those two uh, pieces of pad. And uh, there's a couple times when I remember getting a little aggravated because the pad is literally only as wide as my torso, so my elbows were like digging into the ground. I don't remember if I, if I alleviated that by sleeping like this or what I did, but it, it didn't bother me after a while. But to be completely honest, I'm only complaining because I know that's what you guys want to hear. And for some unknown reason, I slept fantastic last night. I think it's I think it's mostly because I was just completely drained from the week and uh, well when you're super tired you can sleep on anything I mean it was comfortable enough that I didn't want to get up this morning uh, I laid in there for about another half hour it's six o'clock right now just kind of laid laid in there listening to the birds the birds are super super loud this morning and uh, I'm starting to hear some cars and stuff now, but it was really quiet and nice there for a while. The pad, I, I think I'd use the pad in the future. Uh, if I'm ever going to try like an FKT or like a, a super high mileage trip where it's just all about speed and efficiency, I would definitely sleep on this again. I'm definitely going to keep this in my gear room. So I do have some bad news though. And I, I left one of my snicker bars outside of my tent last night. I just forgot to bring it in with me and something got it uh, there's kind of nuts and stuff strewed about it's probably a mouse or something I really have gotten lucky over the years with animals not eating uh, any of my food like I didn't hang a bear bag obviously and most of the time anytime I do hang my food it's just for mice and raccoons and this is the believe it or not the only time uh, a mouse or anything is eating anything of mine. So lesson learned on that. Uh, I really, I've been taking advantage of the fact that it's never happened to me, and um, probably should be more careful in the future because I could have had a whole food bag out here that could have got destroyed. Tent was good. Just left the vestibule uh, open all night. Definitely could have went no rain fly, but the temperature was temperature was perfect. I. Uh, I use a combination of my backpack and a uh, little jerry curl there, what's going on? I use a combination of my backpack and my windbreaker as a pillow. I have not brought the windbreaker, I have not brought the rain fly. This was supposed to be a trip where I utilized every single thing I bring. As bare bones as my system is, it's still uh, not all going to get used. Man, this is going to be a five minute teardown because I don't even have stuff sacks. So everything's just getting shoved back in the backpack. And like I said, six o'clock on the nose. Gonna get back on the trail and get hiking already. Perfect morning. It's so pretty, it's nice and cool. I could see myself doing this same thing in the future. In fact, like I'm already kind of thinking about the next time what I'm going to do differently because I, I figured I'd be slightly inconvenienced on this trip and it really doesn't feel that much different at all. So without that beer and those, those noodles were really heavy too. I was actually surprised. They definitely weighed a pound and the steak. Super, super light. I guarantee you I am sitting, well right now, I'm at like five and a half pounds. Uh, this will add like um, maybe two, two and a half pounds for water. So I guarantee, I'm probably about eight pound pack right now. It's gonna be a nice speedy hike out. Keep my trash in my bottom pocket. And I also, it's kind of risky, but I keep my map back there too. I keep sliding it under so it's easily accessible. Okay, so yesterday that was 10 miles or over 10 miles and I did a huge chunk of Mohican. Eh, it's looking like it's gonna be more than I thought. Some decent mileage. I'd say probably at least eight miles today. We'll see though. Oh yeah, gotta turn the tracker on. And we're good. 
nice little campsite. It's not bad. Uh, it does go right by like this open area where there's like oil wells and stuff up here, which kind of sucks. And I noticed when it got super, super quiet, you could hear like a motor running on one of them or something. This is the worst part right here. Tick heaven. See what I mean? This is just, it's kind of unsightly. You don't exactly see it from the campsite, so it's not terrible. Feeling super fresh and good today. Uh, my bottom of my feet do kind of hurt. These shoes, man. I need to get rid of these things. They are flat. I just, I buy so many running shoes that I never want to buy uh, trail runners for hiking. So I ate my Snickers for my breakfast and been drinking little bits of water here and there. Stay hydrated. And check this out. Look what I just found in the middle of the trail. Cliff Blocks Energy Gels. Unopened pack. I just passed like three mountain bikers that were booking and this probably fell off of uh, one of their packs or fell out of something. It was just laying right in the middle of the trail. <clears throat> Talk about trail magic right there. I mean, I got one Snickers to potentially go like 10 miles. So I'm definitely eating these. Short little road walk here. I'm gonna cross the covered bridge right here and then I'm gonna hang a left right back on the mountain bike trail. Going good, I'm at 13.1 miles on the trip so far. I think I stopped at like 10.6. So I'm just going to estimate my mileage the whole day. I'm not going to sit and do math. Making good time. Made really, really good time. So I camped up Campsite 7 at the, at the top of this hill. A lot of downhill hiking so far. But that's about to change. A little trailhead for Lions Falls. Mohican River. Very, very low. It's the lowest I've ever seen it. So what I like about the pack being super light the most is I can kind of run down the hills and it not like bounce like crazy on my back. I love trail running and it kind of spoils me for backpacking a little bit because I always wish I could be like super light on my feet and just bomb these hills. There's so little in my pack that it's not bouncing around and what is isn't really that bothersome. Maybe if I cinched everything down, packed it a little bit better, it, this could potentially be like a fast packing setup like if i actually wanted to run a trail and camp having a really good time out here today this is a really really good loop challenging but enjoyable i think that this will definitely be a loop i do in the future getting pretty close here i can feel it and i'm at about eight and a half miles in for the day really really good trip man mohican is beautiful out here um, I feel like this is the first like legit backpacking trip I've went on at Mohican uh, in like six years. I've done a lot of like seven mile loops and out and backs. Um, it's just from where the parking is and where the campsites are, it's, it's always hard for me to figure up a good loop. And next time I do this, I want to try to park somewhere else so I can utilize uh, the northern campsite so I don't have to stay at campsite seven. All right, that is it. See the car at the trailhead, 19.35 miles for the trip. So 10 and a half yesterday, I don't know what that would be, eight and a half or nine-ish maybe for today. And six hours and nine minutes hiking, total elapsed, elapsed time. That was a fun one. This was just a, just a test, testing out all this gear. Sorry if I disappointed you in not having a miserable night. Maybe next time we'll make it even more stupid and see if I can't uh, complain a little bit more for you. It's 9.30, so 
under three hours for all those miles today. Uh, I ran a lot of them. I've just, I'm just really pumped to uh, do trail running. A lot of times at the end of backpacking loops, I'll run some of the downhills and stuff because I get impatient. But today, I just, I was just in a trail running mood. I just, I felt so good with the super, super light pack on that I was just having fun running. It wasn't really to try to get done any faster. And I got a, uh, a big trail run coming up in September, if it still happens, that I'm starting to training, train for. And uh, I'm just really pumped for that, especially seeing all these people out on bikes and running, being active. It's, it's really motivating. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, liking. It really it means a lot to me. Gorgeous place. I got to come out here and do a mountain bike loop or just a trail run loop. Love it out here. It's so close to home. Love taking advantage of this. But thank you guys once again for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.